going to show you how you can make your own healthy foundation. And right now I don't wear any foundation, so I'm going to put this on uh, after I made it so you can see how it looks. And I'm sorry about the lighting, but I kind of rely on daylight and the clock is 3 now, so the um, sun is going down, so therefore it's kind of dark. Yeah. Uh, so what you need for this foundation is mineral makeup that fits your skin skin in the color. I haven't found one that fits me 100%, so I wear, I'm going to mix two different. These are just testers. Um, they're a tiny bit too dark for me, but it's a little. It doesn't really matter. And this, and the next thing you need is you can choose. Um, you can use oil, uh, this oil is rosehip seed oil, so it's good for your skin. It's, if you want to use oil, it's best for you who have kind of drier skin or not oily skin. And it also gives your skin more of a glow, like a dewy finish. And Or else you can use a moisturizer, I have this, it's a, a night moisturizer, but it's kind of light, so it doesn't really matter. Or you, if you want extra protection, you can use um, sunscreen. It has to be like a lightweight sunscreen, not a really greasy one, because that is going to make your foundation, yeah, greasy. Uh, so, and also, if you have really, really oily skin, you can use a gel, uh, like aloe gel, or if you have a moisturizer gel, you can use that. And optional, you can use uh, if you have really problems with red skin, you can add just a tiny bit of a uh, green concealer powder, mineral powder concealer. Okay, so here is what you do. You have to use a little plate like this or something to put it in. And you take your foundation and you put it in here. So this is how much I'm going to use and this is going to be our light coverage foundation. If you use more, you know, the more mineral foundation you use, the, it's going to be more heavy coverage. Um, so, and then also if you want to make a tinted moisturizer, you can use like two thirds of it. And if you want to make have heavy coverage, you can use about three times as much and it's going to be really really heavy coverage and you have to be really careful to mix it up and next we're going to put in our optional thing I'm going to use some uh, a bit moisturizer and a bit sunscreen because I want extra protection even though I have already sunscreen on my skin um, okay you can see you can see how much I'm going to use A little blob of that. And just a little, very little tiny bit of moisturizer you can see there. Yeah, really tiny. Just to make them, make it a bit more not so greasy that uh, sunscreen is. So then I'm just going to take my finger and mix this together like this is really small if you want to make a bigger portion of course you can do that like this now so this cut real thin is almost like a tinted moisturizer but yeah, you can see. Uh, now I'm going to apply it so you can see what it looks like. I'm just using my fingers, but you have to be really uh, careful that your hands are clean. I'm just going to put that on my fingers. Okay, 
This one is almost like a tinted moisturizer, I would say. Because it's so lightweight, but... So, no, it's so large, which you can almost see. I have a powder brush, a big kabuki, that I used yesterday from powder, so there is still some powder left in it. I'm just going to pat it on to make it stay. To just set the foundation. And as I said, the one I made now is <laughs> it's really light coverage, so it doesn't cover much, but it's like great for every day. And if you want, you can even make concealer with it, then you have to do it right, like really, really thick. And I have to say that if you are going to make a bigger portion, you should keep it in your fridge so it doesn't uh, spoil. And also, this uh, foundation is not going to be healthy for your skin if you don't use good uh, mineral foundation. Like if you use, like, you know, the one from L'Oreal and Maybelline and stuff, they're probably not very good. And also, if you use a moisturizer that will irritate your skin or clog your pores, this will also do it. So, it's important to have a good quality mineral foundation and also a good quality moisturizer, oil, yeah, you know. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed it and got some ideas to maybe make your own foundation. It is so good because you can choose if you want it dewy, if you want it to be more dry, high coverage, low coverage. Um, you can use a brush applying it if you want to. And also, if you have some oils you're going to use to treat your skin, you can treat your skin while you're wearing foundation. So that's great. Okay, thank you so much for watching. See you later, alligator!